Hey guys, we are going to be going through an introduction to looping. And looping is, is basically a way to execute code uh, time and time again. And so if you want something to do it over and over and over without you having to actually say, um, well in this case when we do our tutorial we're going to have it basically log several different numbers in, in a sequence. And so if we didn't want to go through and like manually on the screen go print one, print two, print three, print four, um, you can actually develop a loop that says, okay, we want to start at one and we want to end at five, or four, etc. And so that's what we're going to be going through today. So to start, we're going to establish a variable and we're just going to put y. Integer y. The next thing that we'll be doing is putting in our for loop. And the for loop is built into Objective C. And so you don't have to worry about, you know, actually developing this loop or anything like that. So this is our for loop function um, that we're going to start. Now in, let me back up there. Now in Xcode 4, you can see it already breaks out, well, a little bit of helper for you guys. Um, and it keeps disappearing. Man, this thing is a, a bugger tonight. All right, so I'm gonna actually write it out so you guys can see. But as you can see, the first condition is gonna be the initialization. Second is gonna be the, the actual condition that we're validating against. And the last argument within there is gonna be our increment. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna just comment this out so you can see it. So our for loop has three basic arguments within initialization condition and our increment just so you guys have a heads up then below that which we'll get into is going to be our statement so this is going to be like in our case we're going to print it to the screen or ns log it to the screen and so you guys can see where it's coming out so that's kind of our basic for looping um, arguments and how we're going to initialize it. So, for this tutorial, we're going to start with the four, tab over the initialization. There, now they stay. Oh, man, I just I can't figure this out. All right, so the initialization we're going to say y, which is our variable, is equal to, let's just say two. Now we're going to go into the actual condition, which in this case, let's say, let's count up to, let's say 23. So we're going to go y is less than 23. In our increment, um, we're going to put in y equals, let's just say y plus 1. So we want y to go up 1 for every, for every run of the program. Another way we could state this is y plus plus, if you remember from the previous tutorial, some of the different uh, the incrementing that you can do. You can do a y minus minus, etc. In this case, we're going to do y plus plus or y plus one in this uh, in this tutorial. So as far as the statement, we're going to type in ns log so we can see our results. We're going to put a our, our at sign uh, and then uh, y equals percent i comma and then state the variable. Don't forget. Uh, don't forget your quotation mark there. And then follow it up with semicolon at the end. So let's go ahead and run this and see where we're at with the program. Because, uh, you know, if we don't see the evidence behind it, it's kind of hard to understand what a loop does. So as it's building it and going through, I want to let you know I played a little Settlers of Catan today and never played it. I took video of the whole thing. I mean, it was a pretty crazy game. I've never played a board game. You know, the, that uh, you sit down for two and a half hours and I didn't understand it. Basically, the point of it was is I got I got whooped. I put my put my little cities and my little, you know, I don't know what you call them. I forget what they call it, like little towns all over the place in the wrong areas to start and just got pummeled by everyone else. So anyways, our program here has ran. Now, it starts with y equals 2. And if you remember right, the initialization. So we're going to tell our program we want you, we want uh, you to start with y equals two, or two. 
Um, and then you can see it goes two, three, four, five, all the way up to 22. And we told it to do that. So in here, we told it the next, the next part of it was the condition. We told it only go up to less than 23. Now, keep in mind, we could have done less than or equal to 23, and 23 would have popped up. But since we did less than 23, it stopped at 23, so up to 23 in this case. And then our increment was by 1. So as you can see, it counted up by 1s. And then all we did was simply print it out, y equals, and the following result of the program. So um, that's kind of the basics of the 4. Um, again, you can modify these. You can put y, y equals, or y plus 2. So in this case, we run it, and it should go 2, 4, 6, 8, all the way up to less than 23, which the ending resulting number is 22. Um, we could start with y equals 5, add 2 to that, and run that. We got 5, 7, 9, 11, etc. And then we can even... Uh, we can even change this up. We can go y is uh, less than or equal to 50. I mean, it could be, we'll go 45 in this case, plus 2. So we build, run the program, and you can see it goes all the way from 5 in the increment of 2 all the way up to 45, or less than or equal to 45. So it's going to stop exactly there. So that's again some of the basics of the for loop. Um, we're going to go into some of the other looping functions out there and uh, we'll continue on with those so hopefully you guys are learning a lot and doing it on your own so you kind of uh, understand where we're coming from and hopefully you guys play that settle as a Catan and take my, my advice that uh, you may want to read the directions and position yourself strong at first alright we'll see you guys later